Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Honkai Star Rail video. Alright, if you guys are not aware, uh, Silver Wolf, some of her kits got revealed uh, today, uh, actually on Bilibili. So, right here you can see they have released not the numbers, but at least the wordings, the skill description. Uh, everything can be viewed from this particular website. I'll leave the links in the description below. So, plenty of uh, things have been revealed and I do appreciate uh, Brightwin for translating that. So, we're gonna try to view what we have in the translated version. Everything that we need to know so far, uh, based on what I've observed, the kit seems like uh, it's very good. It feels like she got a buff, but again, I urge you guys to take this with a grain of salt because there's a lot of things like the numbers. Uh, those are not released yet, so we can only see the wordings, what has changed from the beta ETC. With that being said, let's jump into it. Now, as you can see, if you're trying to farm for Silver Wolf, prepare for these materials, alright? So those are the things you need, obviously the Nihility, and then we have the... Uh, this one is the Shadow Stagnant thing, and the Machine Parts, right, from Bellobok. Okay, and then uh, we have her normal skill right here. Uh, apparently the normal skill stays the same, uh, we have her skill, that applies this bug and we have an ultimate skill, alright? Very, very cool. And also uh, this particular one and the technique, right? Talent techniques, etc, etc. Okay, let's check it out. So apparently uh, the new kit and the final beta kit, uh, you can check her skills during the trial back then. Uh, I think they meant in the beta because I don't think it's in the game, right? But the option was removed on release, sadly. Okay, that makes sense. You can compare how she changed between then and now. The numbers for the old kit have been removed as we don't know the numbers for the release kit yet. Okay, so uh, the old kit, they actually have the numbers right there in display. I have a feeling they might adjust the numbers accordingly, right? The comparison will focus on the word of uh, wording. Okay, so let's have a look at the traces. Very, very important. So what do we need to take note of for the traces, right? So uh, bug's duration is extended for X number of turns. Every time an enemy is inflicted with witness break, Silver Wolf has a X% percent of base chance of implanting a random bug in the enemy. Okay, this is very interesting. Uh, when you apply witness break, Silver Wolf has a X% percent base chance of implanting a random bug. So depending on how this is, if this is at least 50%, I would say uh, she's going to be quite decent right there. Alright, a little bit of a gacha uh, character, but still... Bug's duration is extended, uh, not sure how many turns that is. So uh, duration of the weakness implanted by Silver Wolf's skill increases by X number of turns. If it can last more than 2 to 3 turns, that would be ideal, alright? Also it depends on how fast is she as well, right? So that's going to... I think the faster she is, if she has very high speed and she can move often, that means she can implant the bug more often. So I think that makes a lot of sense, right? If the enemy has X or more debuffs when skill is used, the enemy's uh, all-type damage resistance decreases by an extra X percent. Okay, now this one is cool. This one is cool for sure. Uh, if they have certain amount of debuffs when skill is used, so that means all type of damage resistance, so this includes like uh, physical, fire, uh, wind, everything, right? Is decreased by an extra percent. Although we don't know how many debuffs the enemy needs to have. If they need to have 3 debuffs, that means you need to include like DOT and stuff. Uh, that means Silver Wolf is going to be quite hard if she doesn't fit into a DOT team whatsoever. So the basic, there's no changes. Uh, skill is, I think, this particular one. Alright, so that she's going to drop that thing on the enemy. So before, this is during beta. So she does quantum damage equal to percent of Silver Wolf's attack to a single target enemy. So with a percent base chance to inflict the target with one weakness of the same type as a random allies attack type for 3 turns. Okay, so remember, 3 turns, that's quite long actually. Reduces the enemy's damage resistance to that attack type by X percent. So that means you can buff if you have a quantum type and the enemy's damage resistance uh, to quantum is reduced. So that means you're going to get a huge significant buff overall, right? Somewhat. In addition, there is an X% percent base chance to reduce the damage resistance of the enemy by X% percent for X number of turns. Okay, this one sounds really good. So let's see, what have they changed now? So there's a X% percent base chance to add a weakness of an ally's type to the target enemy and reduce the enemy's damage resistance to the element. Same, okay. If the enemy already has that weakness, the effect of the reduction will not happen. Makes sense. So if the enemy is already weak to quantum, you can't apply this to further increase that. Each enemy 
can only have one weakness implanted by Silver Wolf. Okay, makes a lot of sense. You can't apply more than two. When Silver Wolf implants another weakness on the target, only the most recently implanted one will be kept. So that means if you apply a win weakness before, and then now during your turn, you apply one more ice weakness, so the win one will disappear, will be replaced by an ice one. That means uh, you, ca you can only apply one, and the most recent one will be kept, the, the old one will be discarded in a way. So you gotta be careful, especially with healers, like let's say you have Natasha, which is a physical, uh, but you don't have any other physical damage dealers in your team, that's going to be a bit of a bummer, I guess. In addition, there is a high percent chance to additionally reduce all type resistance of the enemy by X percent for a certain amount of turns. This one sounds really strong, all right? If you can reduce, uh, you know, all type resistance, that means even if it's 20%, it helps a lot because I do think this helps more than you boosting your own attack per se, definitely, because a lot of the enemies, especially in MOC later on, they have high damage resistance, right? Deals quantum damage equal to X percent of Silver Wolf's attack to this enemy. Okay, apparently the biggest change to this is the order of how the actions within the skill work. Okay, so before this, Silver Wolf first do the damage and only applies all of her effects. Now it's the opposite. This means her own damage will benefit from all the debuffs she applied. Oh, okay, okay. So it applies it in this order. It will do this first, and then it will do this, and then it will do this, and then it will do this. Is that how it works? Huh, interesting. I never knew that's how it works. Uh, that it follows the order. So right here you can see in the beta version, she does quantum damage first. But right now she does quantum damage last. So she will apply the debuffs first. So that's a good buff, I think. Uh, that means she will be able to benefit from her own debuff, ideally. Now, ultimate skill. There's a X percent base chance to decrease the enemy. Now, before, there's a percentage base chance to decrease the enemy's target's defense by a certain amount for three turns, okay? At the same time, deals percentage of Silver Wolf's attack as quantum damage to the target enemy. So right now, they have changed. Uh, there's a high base chance to decrease the target enemy's defense by X percent. So instead of a certain base chance, they change it to high. Seems like the same wording, they just change this, this particular one from a certain percent to a high base chance. So they're not going to reveal the numbers even. Huh, makes sense. So let's have a look at the talent. Silver Wolf creates three types of bugs, reduce attack by a certain percent, reduce defense by a certain percent, and reduce speed. Every time Silver Wolf attacks, she has a percentage base chance to implant a random bug that lasts for a number of turns in the enemy target. Uh, this one looks the same, right? No changes there. Technique immediately attacks the enemy, dealing quantum damage to all targets. After entering battle, reduces toughness from all enemies, ignoring their weakness. Enemies with their weakness broken in this way will trigger the quantum weakness break effect. So you do quantum damage to all the targets, which makes a lot of sense. And also it reduces toughness from all enemies, ignoring their weakness. Okay, so if you can uh, weakness break the enemy, you will be able to trigger the quantum weakness break effect, but if you can't, then you won't be able to apply this. But uh, reducing toughness, I guess, helps a lot, right? Definitely a uh, very good technique overall, I would say. So yeah, overall, I think this pretty much sums it up. Uh, let me know what you guys think overall. I have a feeling we still have to look at the numbers because the percent amount of chance of how she can apply the bug, that one can be readjusted, all right? Whether it's 50%, 60%, 80%, 90%, I doubt it will be 100%. And even if it's 100%, it's still going to be quite hard because you still need some effect uh, hit rate to be able to apply it consistently, especially in the MOC, in the higher floors, higher stages. Enemies have very high uh, effect resistance. So that's something that you have to keep in mind. So you need a lot, a lot of effect hit rate to build her successfully. So that's something that, uh, you know, I guess I'll, I'll give her a shot. Try to pull for her, see if I can get her. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.